here's the tang. Over here is this big recess. And my chop stick. Oh. You see this little ledge right there? There's a ramp right here. And if we go into the inside of the lock, I mean the knife, right there is just a simple um, hinge, you know, like a seesaw. When you push on a button, it's on the other end, it levers this up and allows the spring tension, which is just like a giant spring assist, to kick that, and that thing is beveled. Oh, you can see this. It's beveled along that edge. I can show it better with just a regular camera. This is just using a microscope thing. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Well, I was just looking at the mechanism on this um, Auto One Ten, and it's. It's basically a simple mechanism, but you can tell there's some design to it. See, this thing is beveled here, and it's beveled back here. And here's your, here's your button you push, and it's just a simple lever. There's like, you know, probably a pin with a hinge on it through there. But if you see that little piece is protruding, when you push down, it just clears the way for the spring to go. And that's, that's how that works, basically. I zoomed in it with the microscope, but you couldn't see it overall as well. It's just using the camera. Let me focus on that. You see there? That's all it is. It's just a little... So whatever they're using for a spring assist... Just look, looks like a leaf spring. I don't see any coils anywhere. Um, and then you just have this the regular back lock. Let's see, it goes up that ramp. We can't see it right now, but it's going up that ramp, and that's why it's beveled like that on that little pivot piece also. See, it's beveled. A lot of engineering went into it, but uh, once it goes in and hits now i heard this is a second generation or i read this is a second generation because the first ones when you pushed it it was just kind of like a lazy you know come out and kind of like uh, wouldn't always you know block um but now man this this one's never failed to fire out I mean, you feel it, too. It's got some weight to that blade, so it clunks into place. But it's smooth. It's smooth operation. All I've done is put just a little KPL in there. Knife pivot lube. And, yeah, that's that's a mechanism. I was wondering, well, how does it work? So it's however you... You don't get kind of like... I mean, you feel you feel the spring right here. And, and it gets kind of stronger because it's, you know, pushing up against that tang. And then click. And it won't come out. You saw that big solid recess that thing sits in. I mean, it goes down there a ways. It don't come out the other side. But, I mean, it goes probably about half of that. Yeah, I thought you might be interested in that. I tried to look on their website and, uh, you know, and, and videos on YouTube, and nobody really explains, you know, how it works or anything. I like to figure out how things work. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I got some more dinos. These are, um, they cost more than, than the one that Boris originally came from, his pack, but, uh, and there, this was from H-E-B instead of Dollar Tree. But look, they kind of like... They got kind of haphazard with these little dinos, man. 
Oh, I, I guess he's alright. But I got some more backup buddies. Stegosaurus. I just remember the names of a bunch of different ones. Oh, and this guy's got an issue. He's like a defect dino. I mean, you don't want to stand up. Someone, it looked like he got ran over by a truck. Oh, there you go. He's standing. I think he's cheating. Are you cheating? No, he's standing on his own. What do you know? He's got to be... He's barely balanced. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> barely balanced. All right, there. There. I don't know why he got exposed to all that, but there you go. That's the Buck 110 Auto. How I think it works. It works pretty good for me. The second gen or whatever, the latest ones. I got no problem with mine. That's all I can talk about is one I've got. Got no issues. Every time I hit that button, bam, it comes out. And it don't look like it'll just fire accidentally. You know, it's recessed enough. You have to push on it too. How much, how much pressure? Probably about three or four pounds of pressure, I would estimate. It's as much as to squeeze a trigger. A <laughs> single action. All right. There you go. Enough of that. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.